What's good, everybody? We are back with another video. As you can see, we are taking on the Miami Hurricanes. We are ranked number 13. They're ranked number 10. And as you can see, they got a pretty decent defense and an RA offense. But look at us, man. Even though we face some scrub teams, we are the nation's number one ranked defense. And our offense is not too far behind, but, but let's get straight into this game play. Here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Pittsburgh Panthers and the Hurricanes of Miami. Welcome to another great Thursday night matchup. These two teams have really been looking forward to this one. And here come the Hurricanes. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. Miami has the edge in this one, and literally, their defensive end has unbelievable speed and quickness off the edge, and that's the main reason I'm picking them to win this one. I hate to agree with you, Kirk. Miami will win big. Kirk, Yo, welcome back to another episode, man. Today's video, we are taking on the Miami Hurricanes. Now, he is from Miami, man. This game is a little personal because he, even though he's from Miami, they did not offer him a scholarship, so he is taking this game personal, man. Personal. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back stuff, man. As y'all seen the first couple episodes, our defensive line, linebackers, yo, they set the tone for us on defense, man. As long as we, as long as we dialing up pressure, yo, with them, it, it's, yo, the defense is just going to set the tone with them. But we end up getting a three and out as Tate Martell tried to take off running. Miscommunication there. And that says he only got a minimal game on that place. All right, second and nine here. Best run by DJ Dallas. He nearly breaks it free, man. As he picks up the first down. They are moving and grooving right now. But I have confidence in our defensive line and our, our front seven. I'll put our front so far in this season, man. I'll put our front seven against anybody. As DJ Dallas just cannot get nothing going, man. Absolutely nothing going. And with, you know, our back end, man, they feed off the front seven, man. They feed off that, man. You get pressure. We can get pressure with just our front four. You know, it's just an added bonus that the coach is dialing up pressure with, you know, linebackers and safeties and corners. It's just an added bonus. And right here, he just an overthrow. <laughs> That's just a fourth and down. As we get three and out also, man, but it's a three-nothing ball game. I got a feeling this definitely will be a defensive battle game. It definitely will. Hand off to DJ Jallet Dallas, and it just no running room, man. Six carries, 13 yards, nearly two yards a pop. That's yo. We want to keep it like that. Tate Martell, as he throws it, I don't know how he completes that to Jordan, but Jordan picked up the first down, and we get on the stat sheet as we pick up our first tackle of the game. Okay, first and ten. I don't know what it was, but we will take it, man. We will take that all game long. That's going to set up second and 10. Like I said, as long as we get pressure, man, it just added bonuses when we have other positions blitzing in. It's just absolutely no running room. None whatsoever. And I love it because, you know, then teams are forced to pass the ball, man. That's when that boy good comes, you know, hey, these love when you just airing it out, man. And right here, that could have been Elsa in the set the bug. Could pass the flexion right there. And we got a key player down. So hopefully he comes through, man. Hopefully he's all right. Take my tail back to pass right here. And don't, yo, don't even thought, don't even thinking about throwing it over here, man. As that pass falls incomplete. That's going to set up a second and 10. Just don't run. Please don't run. Oh, it's a play action. He gets out his tight end and his tight end. He catches, but he gets tackled immediately. As you see, both teams not doing good on third down. That's the money down. That's what we want, man. Right here, the quarterback didn't have no chance to throw the ball, man. We continue to get three and outs, man. Our offense is not the best in the world, but our defense, come on. Somebody catch that. Somebody catch that. I guarantee that's, that's a six, man. Pick six on the board. But apparently nobody just everybody left their hands in the locker room, man. DJ Jalis up the middle and that go for one, maybe two. That's gonna set up 39. The money down. 
And as we continue to just download pressure, man, with the front four. Like I said, I put our front four so far this game against anybody, man. As we could just continue. We we continue, man. Continue to just play good defense. The offense has to match us. And that could have been somebody could have caught that. <laughs> but third and ten here. <laughs> he, he should not think that, man. As Weaver gets a sack, another sack right there. 21 seconds left, handoff up the middle. DJ Dallas picks up three, maybe four. Just not a lot of running room for what they want to do, man. Just what they want to do, run the ball, play action. You know, they, it just, their game plan is not working. And right here, that's the easy pickings right there for Hamlin. That's like his fourth or fifth interception in two games. It's crazy, man. Second half action, we finally get on the board, man. As you can see, up there by, us, by, by the scoreboard, by us, that momentum, man. We definitely want to keep that momentum and down goes Tate Martell with another. He goes down for another sack, man. That's going to set up second and 16. Second and long. He bringing the pressure right here. I don't know how this was it called. Yo, we could have had another interception, but we're not going to play it, man. Third and 16 here. Tyler, don't even think about throwing it over here, man. Come on. DBG, boy, you got to catch that, man. Trying to little fly sweep, and that's just not going to work. I'm keep telling y'all. We can already one of the best, if not the best, defense line. And it's showing, man. It's showing, man. We walking like we talking. All right, second and 12. Play action. That's just not going nowhere, man. <laughs> it's a defensive battle game. That's what I love, man. It's a defensive battle game. All right, third and 11. Coach dialing up pressure. Oh, come on. You got to. You got your hands on that. Come on. You had your hand. We didn't drop like two or three interceptions. Easy. And right here, no. This, like I say, don't even think about the. Hey, don't no try the other side of the field. Don't try it over here, man. All right, second and ten. Don't do it, y'all. I'm keep telling you, man. Don't do it forward the interception. As he had a wall, but he takes a big hit. But yo, this defense is eating right now, man. So we got a comfortable enough lead, so I can, well, I can say, hey. And right here, another intercession was possible, man. Tate Martell, yo, coach, get this dude out the game. Just <laughs> get him out the game, coach. I mean, what what can't the what can't the backup quarterback doing that he not doing? Like, come on, man. And right here, I don't know what that was. Like, we got their number, man. We definitely has their number. And running the ball, oh, nice run. If you get laid out on our ass right there, but y'all didn't see that. <laughs> So first and ten right here. Like I said, look, he just ran his scotch free. <laughs> like, yo, three sacks, seven hurry, two in the seven. That should have been like four or five in the sections to be real with y'all. Like, no cap. Right, third and eighteen. Gets it out to Dallas, and that picks up three, maybe four yards, man. What the yo, <laughs> this is what happens, man. This is what happened on the replay. I didn't know what happened to do an instant replay. Now, yo, they really hate your boy, man. Look at that. Like, yo. And I was out for the rest of the game. Like, yo, y'all didn't have to do me like that. Like, come on, man. But that's the end of the video, man. We end up not playing the rest of the game. So hopefully we not out for, you know, a couple weeks or whatever, man. But it's me, Create, Create Games, 8-8 Ball. How you going to call me? Until next time, I'm gone.